Hey everyone, you've got our Laos the Blacksmith back at it again with another video. This time I'm looking at uh, going over what it takes for a crafter to complete uh, the crafting orders instead of just placing an order. So you might have been around the crafting orders people and noticed that you can't actually fill any crafting orders from there. Uh, reason for that, you need to go to your, um, your class table. So I'm a blacksmith, I need to go to a forge. When you open your class table, you're going to have your recipes, your specialization, and a third tab for crafting orders, which is now available. Uh, you will be able to see any public orders. If you click public and hit search, it's going to show all the patterns available for your specific profession. So I'm a blacksmith, I can see these blacksmithing patterns. And unfortunately, I don't have the ability to complete these because I don't have the patterns. So if you click on one, uh, you notice the start order button is grayed out. You're not actually able to click on it. Uh, one thing I like to draw your attention to here under the reagents, it's got a check mark next to everything that was provided in the pattern. Any public orders, they always have to provide all the materials. They can't leave it blank. So it's not like someone can trick you and not provide all the materials. Um, but if we go back and click on guild orders uh, and click search, it's going to show any orders available to the guild. Uh, so this one, for example, uh, you'll notice there are no check marks next to the reagents, which means the person has not provided any. Um, so this is somebody in guild who's looking to get some sturdy expedition shovels made, which happens to be a pattern that I have. Uh, you can click on start order. Uh, you've got 30 minutes to fulfill it once you've clicked it. So I'm going to hit start order. It's going to grab the order for myself. And then at the bottom right, you're going to click on create. Boom. And it builds it for you. It shows up under your crafting results. And you can leave a note to the customer. Uh, something nice like, hey, enjoy or pleasure doing business for you. Whatever you want to include, just put a little note for them. Make sure you put something nice. And then you hit complete order. Now, if you don't hit complete order and you forget this step, uh, in 30 minutes it will mail the item to the person anyway. But to make things easier, you want to hit complete order so that it gets done. I once walked away from a crafting and uh, didn't complete it, and it does complete it eventually. So hit complete order. The order goes away from the guild. There we go. I've got no personal, no more guild orders. And that's how you complete your orders. So if you don't have the materials for your guild order, um, you won't be able to do it. The people can provide theirs. For guild orders, anything that's bind on pickup, uh, they are going to have to provide their own bind on pickup items, but they do not have to provide all of their own BOE items. So it's a good way within guild for people to use their materials and have their crafters help out with uh, what materials they have instead of buying them fresh from the auction house. So hopefully you found this helpful. This is how you complete a crafting order. Again, go to your crafting table, hit search. You can view the public ones that are available. Click it, hit start order if you're able to start it, if you have the pattern, uh, and you can complete it and get your reward. Um, keep in mind, you only have 20 public orders per day. You can do unlimited guild and personal, but your public orders, you're limited to 20. So as this becomes more popular and people are putting up more work orders, you might want to be careful for which ones you pick to make sure that you're not using up all your work orders and then a, a really valuable commission comes up. All right, well, thank you guys all for watching today. I uh, appreciate you, and uh, we'll see you next time.